Joining us now is the president of Unique Photo in New Jersey, Matt Sweetwood. Nice to see you, Matt. Hey, good morning. So first of all, you don't want to disparage hiring professional photographers. They have a great skill and a great trade. Absolutely. If you, we really want really, really quality pictures, you should definitely hire a professional photographer. You don't want Uncle Earl taking your wedding photos. Abs absolutely not. That's a well, big mistake. Well, let's take a look and see how much he can make fun of our high school photos, okay. Clayton. Is this great? That's me. Wow. Look at the little hand. I love, I love <laughs> Look at my bangs. Wow. What happened? Okay, from a photo, of, <laughs> from a. Well, is there anything wrong with that, Matt? Go ahead, be well, kind. Well, I mean, it's not a. It's a picture you look at and then make fun of. <gasps> Ouch. Yeah. So how do you? Prove, that's Gretchen. We just saw Maria Molina's photo in I there. I mean, you're beautiful in the picture. Oh, but, thanks. That, you, but, don't to, you don't need to. You don't need to follow it. But it's a straight-on right. kind of boring shot, right? Right. That's right. An example here, like of a soccer player, and I think this right. is interesting. Right. And this is something that you can do yourself. You start with a. You start. You do need a good camera, but you can do something very simple. People take the shot straight on. It's very boring. Who knows whether he's even really playing soccer or not? He's just holding the ball. All you have to do is move your body. Take a different position on the shot, move the ball, and you end up with an exciting shot, something more interesting to look at. Yeah, now, Matt, here, here was my high school graduation photo. Uh -oh. uh, take a look at this. This is how embarrassing. Where are you? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting <laughs> next to a car, and it's about 30 feet away. Right. Uh, my you, eyes are closed also. Right. You're not even the main subject there. I think maybe the car might be more interesting. <laughs> he was proud of his wheels, Straight, okay? That's Straight right. right. He's proud of his wheels. <laughs> right. All right, let's look at this one because obviously lighting, I can see, is a big difference. Right. Uh, well, the first thing is you want to dress appropriately because you're going to be looking at a photo like this. This is typical of the, the sort of stage photos that you see people pay for today. And they go out and she's not really dressed. You can see her feet. She's not in a comfortable position. And the light's behind. Her, yeah, like you pointed out. So she's completely um, washed out because the light's behind her, backlit. That's right. So you want to face the sun. You want the sun at an angle to you so that the sun lights her face, and you can see she's sitting in a more natural position. And we made the background our friend. Unlike your picture where you had the car in the house, this the background becomes <laughs> becomes your friend here, and it be blends into the scene. And also, you notice the telephone lines, uh, power lines. That's right. In her photo. In, in this photo, you have a telephone pole behind her too, but we've defocused the background, used the wide aperture when you shoot, which you can learn. You have to. You have to take a little bit of photography class to come visit us. We'll teach you how to do that, but you want to defocus the background so the subject becomes the main point. All right, so here's how, right. how our graduation photo should have looked like, Clayton. <laughs> From this to this, what did you do? Well, you want to make a memory, and that was sort of the joke that I was making about your photo, is that you look at that and everybody sort of looks pained and they're sitting there in a sort of a fake background and it's right. not really right. That captures the moment. Sort of brings you back to the time when you actually graduated. She's in a natural position. It presents itself in a way, I think, that people will want to go back and look at the photo. You're creating memory, and that's really what you want to do with a photo, is always sort of think, think your way through it and try to create a memory. I mean, that looks like a glamour shots photo, like you get at the mall. Or right, something. that's yeah. right, exactly right. And that's something you can do yourself. Once again, though, defocusing the background so that the person you want to take a picture of is really the main part of the subject. Okay, Clayton, let's do the pose that I did. Yeah, how do you, it's like, it, I call it dainty hand. Dainty hand pose. Okay, I just needed a little teacup I'm to thinking. go with it. Matt, thanks so much kitten. for your advice. <laughs> a kitten? Okay. Coming up, holy outrage, Faith costing one high school track team its victory. It was taken away after a runner.